So Tegan, when you did your little DIY piece on air pressure, there were some suggestions that you may in fact have broken a nail. Well, I didn't, but if I was ever going to, it'd be while changing a tyre. Though I did prove myself wrong last week when I broke a nail on a cup holder. Well, there's nothing too glamorous about breaking a nail on a cup holder, so let's take a look at the DIY tips for changing a tyre. I have been lucky enough to have changed quite a few tyres in my time, so today I'm going to do all the work and Trent, you're going to talk me through it. Look, that'll be a nice change, Tegan, because as we know, normally it's you giving me the orders and me doing the heavy lifting, but there's nothing to worry about today, this is all very simple. A few safety steps we need to take first. The car's on a nice flat space, that's a very important point. And secondly, we've got a wheel chock behind that rear wheel so that the car won't move when it's jacked up in the air. After that, the first thing we need to do though is get that wheel straight. Yep, and while you go and straighten the wheel, another thing to keep in mind is if you do blow a tyre on a busy road, you also need to pull off into a safe place and put your hazard lights on and make sure the ground isn't sandy, rocky or muddy because that will affect the stability of the jack. All right, step one, get the tools out of the boot. Ready to go. Step two, take the hubcap off. All right. Yep, nicely yep. done. Next, you need to loosen the lug nuts. Trent, wrench. Here you go. You might need to put a bit of force on this. I need to, these move counterclockwise. So there. And sometimes it can be a little bit hard. But there we go. Easy. All right, that's done. Step two, jack. Here's your winding handle. That's easy. Let's get the jack out of the bag here. Now this needs to be wound down so that it can fit under the rail of the car. So it's a bit of a tedious process, but get winding. We'll get into that. The Fiat is really easy because it's actually got a little arrow down here on the pillar. So you know exactly where the jack needs to go underneath it. You just want to make sure the jack's low enough so that it doesn't hit the bodywork as it goes under. And just take the weight so you can feel the weight on the car. That's it. Yep. Okay, now you use the handle. And you want to just make sure that you get the tyre just off the ground. You don't need to go a metre in the air. Okay, that's it. So just let the handle drop to the ground there. Next thing is removing those nuts. Those hands are getting nice and greasy, which is good. Nice and dirty. Now removing the tyres nice and easy. You want to be on your feet and pull it back. Straight off. That's it. And just take it out of the way. I have heard someone that you're supposed to put it under the car in case the jack fails. You can do that, yes. That's a good safety, yep, there good go. safety technique. All right, Trent, next step, if you can grab the spare tyre for yes, me. Yes, I'll in do that. In the Fiat 500, it is in the boot. Now, different cars will have different spare tyres. Some you'll get a full size, others you'll only get a space saver, which will have a speed limit on it, so you'll need to get to your tyre retailer quickly. Thank you, Trent. You will see this has some safety pins there. You need to line them up. There's a couple of little holes on this one. Best to stand up to do it. And those location holes should hold the weight of the wheel too once they're in the spot. And what you want to do now is you want to get each of those nuts finger tight. That's it. Next, do the uh, opposite side. So it's important to go in a star shape. Now the next step is to get the wrench and just gradually nip them up just until you feel them hit home. That's it. Next one. Just gently. Ooh, star shape, yeah. Okay, now that's done and we just need to take the weight off the jack. Let's move that wheel out first, Teagues. I'll do that for you. Okay. Just and get I'll that start. out of the way. Now, when you finish with the jack, the last step is just to check that the wheel studs are nice and tight. Once again, we'll use the wrench. So what you want to do when you're doing this is you're obviously going in a clockwise direction. So you want to put it like that and give it a good... Give it a good jam. Yep, give it a good jam down. That's it. That's it. Yep. That's it. Now you're ready to go and get the flat tyre patched up. Obviously, the last step is put everything back where it came from and you're ready to roll. Ladies, don't be scared to get your hands dirty. It did take a lot of elbow grease and quite a bit of time with that jack, but it's not that hard to do. Of course, if you do have a bloke along or another female friend that's willing to do it, I'd palm the job off to them personally. But if they do stand around and don't help, this is what you need to do. Lovely.